Welcome to another episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpenings Before and After. And as you know, I just love doing these things. This is another Buck 110. Fairly rough shape. Um, I did sharpen it once before. I probably cleaned it up once before as well. But it's been skinning deer and it's been doing whatever it does out on the ranch. So um, it's it's gotten a little bit of oxidation and wear and tear and use on it again. So I'll polish that bad boy up and I'll see who I get back. back. Blade Runner Tool Sharpenings Before and After. That Buck 110 I was telling you about a little bit earlier, the ones I love doing, well, that one came out pretty darn nice. I mean, as all buck knives do, they're beautiful. They got really good metal in them. You know what, if you want to buy a, a forever knife, get a Buck 110 lock back. I've had mine, like I said, I drove mine 64,000 miles on my motorcycle, strapped in my belt loop, I, I, I'll never be without it. It's just a great knife, all purpose, all around knife. So. I just love shining these puppies up. They come out so nice. They got good, beautiful metal in them. There you have it, another episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpenings Before and After. Oh, and by the way, as you saw a little bit earlier, see how nicely that comes out? What I use orange oil extract in the mechanism. Lubricates it. There's no, no debris, no, it, it dries right up. It's beautiful stuff. So there you have another episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpenings Before and After. Like us on Facebook, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, with Blade Runner, there's never a dull moment.